Okay, so this is the top 10 best shots of 2021, voted for by me and uh, recreated by me. And the first one I've gone for is Chris Melling in the Predator Championship League. And great shot, great topspin shot, beautifully cued in between the 8 and the 9 ball. So I thought I'd have a go at this. First shot, a bit of a whiffy one. Second shot, plenty of topspin. But don't quite get down far enough. So even more topspin on this one. Cue it beautifully, get that nice little arc of the cue ball there. Come all the way down. And to be honest with you, I'm, I'm happy with that. <laughs> I'd be pretty happy with that position. But if we watch the replay of Chris Melling's shot, he comes in between the eight and the nine, threaded through the eye of the needle. And uh, I just thought I'm gonna have to keep going until I try, <laughs> until I get this. So 15th go, loads of top spin. Can't get close though, even more top spin. And to be honest with you, this is the one that I think I got closest with. I think if I was playing on one of the TV match tables, I probably would have got it there because I had the right line. But uh, I kept going nonetheless. 24th go, plenty of topspin, but not the right angle. 28th go, I put a bit of top right on this time and swing it round. Got loads of purchase on that one. I'd be pretty happy with that as well. 33rd go, <laughs> uh, swing it round the angles, get really into that one. And uh, to be honest with you, I'm going to settle with that because I've got position there. So I'm going to give that one four for difficulty out of five, three for recreation, a beautiful queuing shot, and we had to get a melling shot in there, didn't we? Okay, next up, I've gone for Skylar Woodward with this shot, the World Pool Championship. Great imagination. He was in a snooker. He found a way to get out of it. He arcs it off the side rail, and it curls back round into a combo, two onto four ball. Great shot. So I thought I'd have a go at this one. Little bit of right-hand English. Nearly get it on the first attempt, unbelievable. Uh, second attempt, trying to get the arc that Skylar was getting on the cue ball, but they're coming out a little bit flat, which is frustrating. So fourth attempt, I'm really trying to create a steep angle with the cue here. Uh, I'm starting to get a little bit of a curl effect. That one comes out a little bit of flat again. And there we have it, I'm starting to arc the cue ball nicely now by really digging down into the cue ball. And on the seventh attempt, I get it, I nail it but the cue ball goes behind the brown seven. So we have to keep going. Loads of arc I'm getting on this one now, but, oh, butterfingers there. <laughs> Ninth attempt, I nail it and leave myself uh, the perfect combo shot there. So I'm pretty happy with that one. I really like that shot. Great imagination by Skylar there. I'm gonna give that one four out of five for difficulty, three out of five for recreation, because I didn't quite get the cue ball where Skylar got it, but I really like that shot. So next up, I've gone for Albin Ocean with this shot. Audacious development shot there, breaks up the seven ball and the eight ball, leaving himself the perfect shot. As you can see, the cue ball arcs off the two rails, comes off the right edge of the seven ball, cue ball comes off the side rail and comes back into it, leaving himself the perfect shot. So I thought I'd give that a go. A little bit of top right, whiff it. <laughs> uh, I allow for deflection, nail it, but I'm not quite getting the, uh, the running side that Albin did. Um, so I just thought I need to put a bit more top right on this cue ball here. So a little bit more right hand spin. Um, and narrowly miss out on hitting the uh, seven ball there. So I just keep going with that. I love the little hop I get as well. It's quite satisfying. <laughs> um, I hit the seven ball, but I leave almost the impossible shot there. So I keep going at this. Uh, there's a few whiffs in here. And as you can see from the cue ball graphic, um, I'm actually not putting enough right hand spin on this. Uh, it takes me a few goes to realize that. Um, I just think I have to hit it more pure, more clean, but uh, it turns out I do actually need to hit it a little, with a little bit more right hand spin. Um, but it's all about trial and error and trying to understand the feel of the shot. As you can see here from the eighth attempt, I'm still coming a little bit um, flat. Uh, ninth go, I'm really getting into the cue ball, but it's just not happening. So on the tenth go, I really put loads of right hand spin on this. Um, hit it sweetly, but still missing, <laughs> still missing the shot. Eleventh uh, go, overcorrect and go inside the uh, the brown seven and, and eight ball there. Twelfth go, surely this time, <laughs> you can see me kicking with my feet there. Thirteenth uh, go, I don't put enough right hand spin on and it just goes back to the old ways, <laughs> which is frustrating. Fourteenth go, loads of right hand spin, cue it smoothly, cue it nicely. And here we go, surely. Hit the right edge of the uh, the brown seven and leave myself the perfect shot. 
And uh, I don't know why I added this in as well, but just to show you that I also ran out from here. A uh, little bit of inside there, a little bit of left hand side, and uh, I run out from there. So I really like that shot. It's a really sexy shot to play. I gave that four out of five for difficulty, four out of five for recreation. I love it. And what would be a top 10 list of best shots without a Judd Trump shot in here? So this shot was at the US Open against Joe McGee in the first round. He's close to the eight ball and he smashes it in uh, off six rails and gets comfortable position on the nine ball. Great shot there. So I'll have a go at this. I use a little bit of inside spin, a little bit of, uh, well, we call it running side in England. Um, and my thinking here is just try and hit it as hard as you can to get it round the table. Um, but I'm noticing even, well, <laughs> a scratch on that one, but uh, even when I pot the eight ball, I'm noticing the cue ball is coming back and hitting the uh, long rail on the way back instead of the short rail at the bottom of your screen, um, as you'll notice here, uh, which is frustrating. So what I do is I end up putting just center ball striking on this one to see what happens. Uh, send it around the uh, six rails and into uh, actually better position, I'd say, uh, and uh, for an easy nine ball here. So um, I'm going to give that shot four out of five in terms of difficulty, three out of five in terms of recreation, uh, because I didn't really get the uh, cue ball off the rail like Judd Trump did there, but uh, great shot. And next up, I've gone for Eagle Eye, Jason Shaw at the Temple World Championship uh, with this amazing kick shot into combo, one onto nine, uh, and also has position as well after that. So I thought I'd give this a go. Uh, I start off with just center ball striking, just so it's easy for me to calibrate. Um, I'm aiming at exactly the same place on the rail here, but uh, if you just take off a little bit of pace or add a little bit more pace, it really affects the line of the shot. It either slides or it, it straightens up. Um, and at this point, uh, after 10 attempts, uh, I'm just really relying on a little bit of luck. And <laughs> roll ahead to the 34th ago. Uh, I'm really hoping that I can get this because the nine isn't quite over the pocket. It's not hanging over the pocket. So this really has to be exact. Um, I'm just looking to get a really good, uh, good connection onto the one ball here to send it into the corner. But I get it, finally, what a relief. Um, I don't know how Jason Shaw did that on the first go. I'm sure there was a, must have been a little bit of luck involved with that because that really was difficult. Next up, I've gone for Alex Kazakis with this shot. Kazabubu with the jump into a bank shot. Very aesthetic shot there. I really like that shot. So I thought I'd give that a go. First attempt, pretty comfortable with that one. Pretty happy with that one. Second attempt, oh my days. <laughs> I get it. But actually, if you look at the replay, ah, the, cue, the eight ball did move there. So I'm going to have to keep going. Third attempt. I'm actually really enjoying this shot. I feel like I'm really getting in range. Fourth attempt. Overcorrecting a little bit there. Fifth attempt and drain it and i'm really happy with that one i thought i could have been there some time as well but uh fifth attempt is a, a really good going for me there so i've given that five out of five for difficulty four out of five for recreation so next up i'm going for this shot by joshua filler great jump shot he lands it straight onto the four ball off the side rail and back into position on the five ball carl boy said he treated it almost like a hanger so i thought i'd have a go at this one first attempt a complete whiff. Second attempt. I get it and actually got good position there on the uh, five ball. But if you watch Joshua Filler's shot, he comes off the side row and just looks so much sexy, doesn't it? So third attempt, I rattle it. Fourth attempt. <laughs> Not good. Fifth attempt. I'm feeling pretty good about this uh, until that happens. Sixth attempt. I'm getting close. But uh, I'm seeming like I'm drawing a lot of these shots, which is frustrating. Uh, eighth attempt, surely this time, another jaw <laughs> shot, another rattler. Ninth attempt, oh, what's going on? And finally, nice round number 10. I drain it off the side rail. Not quite as sexy as Joshua Filler's shot. He seems to come off the side rail above the middle pocket and bends it back uh, across the table. I'll just put that down to the fact that I'm on a slow cloth. <laughs> and uh, I've still got position anyway. So next up, I've gone for David al with this shot, this safety shot at the World Pool Championship. Great attempt, great imagination. The cue ball leaks out a little bit, but still I think it's a wonderful shot. Um, if you watch here, 
He comes off the side rail, a little bit of running side, off three cushions, four cushions, and the cue ball just leaks out slightly, but I still really like this shot. So I thought I'd give this a go. A little bit of running side, catch it thin and into the four ball. So I'm correcting myself here, but think I need to go a little bit thinner. <laughs> uh, it takes me a couple of goes to realize I need to catch it thicker. So as you can see, I'm still whacking into the, uh, the four ball there. Uh, and on the fourth attempt, catch it beautifully and in behind the nine ball. It's actually slightly better than uh, David's shot there, um, but uh, he did it first time, I didn't. So uh, I love that shot, four out of five for difficulty. I'm gonna give that three out of five for recreation. A great shot. Okay, and in second place, I've gone for this shot by Jeremy Jones from the Moscone Cup. Uh, it was number one in my Moscone Cup top five list. Uh, great shot, under pressure as well, you know, stepping in. Uh, to fill the boots of El Strickland. So if you see my video before, I had a couple of goes at this before I finally make it. Loads of bottom left hand spin, um, loose wrist, come off the three cushions and into the line of shot. And I actually think if I was playing on the, uh, the fast cloth uh, match tables, I think I would have almost had it exactly as uh, Jeremy had it here. Uh, but I've given that four out of five for difficulty and uh, four out of five for recreation. And the best shot of 2021, in my opinion, was this shot by Carlo Biado in the US Open against David Alcady. Incredible kick shot. Uh, so I thought I'd have a go at this one. Center ball striking. Uh, I'm trying to calibrate here, but I'm actually doing exactly the same thing uh, until the fourth go where I actually hit the four ball, so I'm getting closer. Uh, sixth go, seventh go, and eighth go, I do exactly the same thing as before um, until finally I work it out. And on the ninth attempt, I get a bit closer and hit the four ball. 10th go, I'm making contact with the one ball, so some progress. And 11th go, it looks like I take off a little bit of pace on that shot and I drain the one ball down the rail. I'm really happy with that. So I'm gonna give that one five out of five for difficulty, two out of five for recreation, because if you notice, I didn't actually break up the balls with the cue ball there, like Fiado did. Okay guys, there you have it. That was my top 10 best shots from 2021, chosen by me and recreated by me. Uh, not easily though, I have to say. Uh, what do you guys think? Do you agree with my selection? Were there any shots from 2021 that you think should have made it into the top 10 list? Please leave your suggestions in the comment section below on your favorite shots. And also, if there's any pool videos that you'd like to see me make, please let me know in the comment section as well and I'll do my best to make those. And finally, if you like this video and you want to see more content like this, please give the video a like, smash the subscribe button, and I'll see you on the next video. Cheers.